Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Cancer. How are you guys this week? This is for the rest of May. Oops, there we go. Yeah, Seven of Swords. I have ended a cycle. Yeah, you got a new cycle beginning. So it looks like there's um, something that's ended here, possibly. Or you've had something on and off with someone. I do see that little bit of sneaky behavior. Someone here, you know, it is the energy often of the one that got away. Someone's trying to figure out if you've moved on, gotten away. It looks like somebody's hoping things go in their favor. And there's this new beginning. Okay, so Or someone's trying to figure out if you've started something new. So I do feel there is something going to be exposed. But I do see happiness and joy here. So, let's see. Yeah, so someone's feeling a little left out in the cold. So, a little lonely here. So, there's definitely an energy of lack. Yeah, I see a passion new beginning. Some of you definitely have something new coming in. But it does look like someone here is trying to figure out if you've gotten away, if you've started something new. Now, it's also an energy of someone who may have been a little sneaky here. Yeah, someone wants things to go in their favor. They may go about something in kind of a sneaky way. They're trying to find something out. And I do see someone feeling left out in the cold and a little lonely. And I see the energy of three. Let's get the rest of these cards out. Cancer. So it wants to come out. Yeah. So it looks as though someone here is making a choice, possibly a life path decision here. Maybe a choice between two, whether someone's right. But I do see messages, communication coming in uh, out of the blue here. Somebody here. I mean, it could be an energy where someone wants to take things to the next level. But really be cautious of someone here who you may have already dealt with. Someone who may have ghosted you, left you out in the cold. But there's definitely the energy of lack and loneliness and this passionate new beginning. I mean, there's some sort of attraction here. Yeah, it has to do with taking something to the next level, some kind of commitment. But it's whether someone's right for someone or not. You know, it's an energy of being fair. Someone here maybe wasn't playing fair. You know, they did something sneaky. So let's see what this Seven of Swords is and get that out of the way. <laughs> yeah, you got to This is someone trying to figure something out. And it's often when I see the King of Cups with that, it's, it's a person who goes about something something in the way they shouldn't because they're trying to figure out their feelings for starters they wanted they want things to go in their favor but i see uh, this cycle ending now this is often that windfall of abundance something's been exposed here but you know there is some happiness and joy so i feel like you're going to get a communication it does look like you could be the one that got away here yeah we have someone who wants to offer you this pedicle they want to start something new See, it's a, the interesting thing with the Seven of Wands is all isn't always what it seems. So it's, you know, when somebody, it's often a person who's lonely or they have insecurities. This is somebody who has a little bit of insecurity. So sometimes they go about things in a sneaky way. It doesn't always mean they have bad intentions. But someone here is definitely trying to figure something out. And I feel it's someone who's figured out how they feel too. And kind of what they want here, what makes them happy. So I feel there's, you know, there's some happiness and joy. Yeah, we have a person manifesting here. They have all the tools, the information, everything they need to know to manifest their, their, their desires. So I feel someone is going to try to manifest a new beginning. It looks like you're probably the one that got away. Or someone's trying to figure out if you have, for some of you, if you start something new. And I do see communication. Yeah, so. Little Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, maybe this is yourself, Cancer. We have a King of Pentacles. So someone is releasing things that no longer serve. But this is also, with this energy, it's someone here who, I mean, it's definitely, this person definitely hasn't doesn't have money problems. They're stable. It's often a person who thinks somebody is being sneaky too. So they act like they don't have any money. So this is something that didn't serve someone here. Yeah, I see what's happening here, Cancer. Now, this could be yourself in the masculine energy here. But Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, often it's just a person who's in their feelings here. I mean, there's some kind of feelings about love here. This is somebody who's 
kind of lonely, but this is something, what happened here, this didn't serve this person. And there we have the birth of something new. So this has to do with someone wondering if somebody is open to starting something new here. Now I do feel the Empress here this could be yourself, another person, take it how it resonates. But this is an energy of someone learning their self-worth, self-respect. See, maybe somebody here, I feel someone holds you in very high regard. I mean, I can see their energy, but it has to do with their own self-worth, you know. But it's someone, I feel it's someone who acts like they don't have money, but they do. They went about something the wrong way because they maybe felt you were, you know, being that player energy. There we have the three of wands. So there's an energy of waiting here for a situation to come to fruition. Some of you may be looking elsewhere, getting out, socializing, but it's waiting for a situation to come to fruition. See, it's an energy where you may have waited. I mean, it's an energy of manifesting, but I see the mirroring as far as the sneaky, the player. So I, when I see that, I maybe you both kind of felt that way. That often has to do because we have baggage from past relationships we need to let go. And that very well could be this person. Now, they really could be anyone with this energy. And there we have the emotional fulfillment. See, this has to do with someone laying it all on the line here, putting all their cups on the table. It's an energy of someone figuring out what makes them happy. Happy home, happy life, emotional fulfillment. It's about taking something to the next level. This is someone at a crossroads. I mean, it looks to me like, you know, when something started here, it's a person who more than likely with this energy, you know, they didn't come in right. They didn't put their best foot forward. So something got off on the wrong track here. So I don't know what's, what happened with this person, but it, it shows me there was some sort of communication where, you know, something started. It's a person who just didn't come in right, I feel. And I can see someone who's been in that, been there, done that. See, something that happened to this person before. So they had some kind of insecurity about it. But they're definitely a person who's, you know, sorting themselves out, figuring out how they feel. This could be a really big apology. Let's have a look at the Eight of Wands here. Yeah, this is someone who wants to talk. See, they didn't come in right. See, they're protecting their money. They were kind of stuck here. Someone who is keeping things close to their chest as well. So, yeah, pretty interesting. Tell me about this. So it looks like you may be dealing with someone in that energy. But, I mean, there's feelings here. Emotions, love. Somebody who definitely wants love. Yeah, a lot of focus on their money. So, and I do see this energy of someone kind of taking their time here. But I feel some of you, you're open to other offers and opportunities. Now, maybe there was something that was said. But I'm seeing, I mean, the Empress right in the heart of the reading. The birth is something new. Someone who's loving, kind, compassionate, open. Open often to talk, to heal. So it's possible if you were open to talk to this person, that something here could be resolved. But yeah, they're definitely someone who's reassessing the situation. See what was holding them back, keeping them stuck. They were holding on to something here. I feel that definitely didn't serve them, but they're releasing it. See, that's also someone who's loving themselves first. Yeah, they hold you in very high regard. I mean, there's just absolutely no doubt there, but it has to do with them. Tell me about this King of Cups. Who is this person? up to here you know they're often kind compassionate forgiving person but it's often someone who with the king of pentacles plays it a little safe see this is someone who may have just walked away from someone who was a player who was so it's something that may have happened and they've walked away but this is someone who's searching they've been searching for something new but i feel it just didn't go off well they may have even had something on and off with someone but whoever they are, I mean, it was obviously there were some feelings here, very strong feelings, but they weren't emotionally fulfilled. So I feel someone did something to them. Let's have a look at that Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, we have an Emperor. So this is definitely someone who's in that emperor energy. So they're definitely somebody who isn't lacking finances. But like I say, this is someone who may have been a little sneaky or so I feel somebody was sneaky with them and they walked away. 
and they're looking at this energy see they didn't put their best foot forward now this person also with the emperor here it says you know this is somebody who's not only well off they're quite logical they know how to get things to go in their favor but you can see there was some kind of date and i do think this person's going to come in to talk and i do see an apology yes yeah, he asking someone out here but i feel like i say they it's an energy of that mirroring where maybe even both of you felt something you know there was this player sneaky energy but it's really someone who just went about something the wrong way and i do feel this is someone who wants to make this right they want to make this right regardless of what happens but i do feel they likely want to ask you out again Tell me about the magician. See, they ha now have all the tools, the information. Everything's become clear. Yeah, why? They've released this. They've released the baggage. Okay. So this is somebody who themselves may have been played. Yeah, but I do feel this is someone who feel trying to figure out. They're trying to figure out how to fix this. Like how to come in right, how to say the right things. There it is. See, communication. Yeah, there was some kind of communication here. But this is an energy of multiple opportunities, things speeding up. This is somebody who's in kind of a hurry here. Now, it's possible they got a little emotionally overwhelmed because I do feel they've walked away from something here. And it's often, too, for some of you, someone who walks away till they figure out how they feel. See, the right person waits till they're ready. See, waiting. I do think this is somebody here, you know, kind of exploring their feelings here too. Like they're looking at what happened. I can see they, you know, they're still trying to manifest. But now it, it's a sort of energy of somebody who thinks somebody's trying to play them, maybe coming in because, you know, they're stable financially, they have money. So, you know, it's a very common energy. Tell me about the Empress. I feel here, see, just waiting, waiting patiently here, I feel, for the feminine energy. But it's an energy of being open to talk. The Empress is often open to talk, to resolve things. Okay? Because I do feel, like, I, I do feel you also maybe held this person in high regard, your hopes and dreams, everything you could ever want. But that's what they're seeing here, too. Little mirroring. Yeah, see, it's an energy of lack and loneliness and... Just that negative. Somebody who thinks start off right, they come in when they're in this negative headspace here. See, this is someone who kind of felt something was off. Something didn't feel right. See, but I see the Empress being patient. See, it's an energy after a period of time, pulling back, seeing things different. Okay, maybe you're different than this person's usual type. See, this is where they kind of, I feel this is where somebody just kind of assumed they should have let go of the outcome here. This is somebody who wasn't, they wanted it. I can see they were, you know, very enthusiastic about it. But like I say, they were holding on to something, um, you know, protective of their money, protective of themselves, their heart. But I feel this is somewhat, you know, after a period of time, pulling back, seeing things different, just kind of calming down. Yeah, see, this is where something ended. This is where you just kind of waited, I feel. The feminine here just kind of waited. Yeah, because it's, it's an energy where someone had just ended something. And then here comes this communication. Now, I don't know if you started it or they started it. They wanted it. This is someone who wants love, but they, they really, they definitely had baggage because something had definitely ended. There's this trans transformation kind of energy here. See, every ending has a new beginning. So it's like, it just didn't go anywhere. Yeah. And I still feel the Empress was waiting. See, and there may have been other people involved, talk, things like that. But yeah, I say, I feel some of you just looking elsewhere here, only waiting so long. And that's what I feel has happened, starting to look elsewhere, getting out, socializing. But this is someone who's been searching for love. They wanted this, and I do think they're going to come in and put their best foot forward. They're going to ask you out. So I don't know if there was a date that didn't go well um, or what here, but look at that energy. See, taking a little pause, looking at things from a different perspective. See, you putting the shoe on the other foot, how the other person feels. We know the Empress is capable. So there's something here about this. 
And I do think, you know, this is a healing energy. It's an energy of someone, you know, letting go of this negativity. Looking at things from a different perspective. Yeah. It's kind of sad here. Let's have a look at this hanged man. Yeah. See, weighing the pros and the cons. Should I or shouldn't I? Yeah. Tell me about the star. So someone going through that inner struggle. Now, you may have done that uh, as well, if you are the feminine. Weighing the pros and the cons, if you should just wait to see what happens. The same letting go of the outcome. Um, but I do feel there was something here being assumed because of that seven of swords. I do feel you're the one that got away. And I do feel this is someone who was played. So they protect themselves. See, multiple opportunities, things coming in, things happening too fast. This is someone who kept things close to their chest. But look at that truth. See, they're seeing the truth after a period of introspection. A little bit of internal struggle with this person. But this is also someone here who's trying to come up with an idea. You know, they're looking at the truth, why something ended. I feel like some of you maybe already know. Yeah, you might already know about this. You may have been told by other people. Yeah, and now some of you, I do see someone who was maybe juggling. It's possible they were making a choice between two. To be honest, I, I, I do see that here. But yeah, I really feel somebody, you know, it's an energy of waiting. Now re that realization that it's over. But I think you know the truth or you're going to find out the truth. They should have just told you. Okay, that they had just ended something. I really feel it's a person who walked away from someone who was being sneaky with them. So let's have a look at the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I just get that little tingles when I look at that. Tell me about this emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. Yeah, see, happy home, happy life. See, it has to do with their house, their home, their financial foundation. See, they were protecting so, and I do feel protecting their heart too. The King of Cups is here. See, so taking things to the next level. This person has things they're holding on to. Okay. Like I say, it's baggage. It's been keeping them kind of stuck. But I feel they're, you know, a lot of focus on the money. But I do think after a period of time, this person's coming in. They want to make something right. They're assessing the situation. Yeah, there it is. See, putting on the brakes, taking another look at the situation. Now, it could even be... Um, yourself here the feminine okay unless you are uh, the king of cups if you are a cancer masculine watching this okay I do feel somebody has some Scorpio in their chart though um, yeah but I really feel as far as the masculine see it's an energy of searching walking away from someone who's being sneaky and it's possible they went about something the wrong way too tell me about that eight of cups why did this person move on? Yeah, it has to do with the communication. See, this is somebody here communicating, page of pentacles, someone being mischievous, being sneaky. See, I and if it is the feminine, if you are the one who, who started this, okay, this person maybe thought you were up to something here. It's a person who's kind of suspicious because of something that happened. Tell me about this communication. I want to just pull out as much as I can here. Cancer, tell me about this communication. I feel someone was emotionally overwhelmed. Maybe things were happening too fast. I feel they just weren't ready. I really feel they weren't ready. See, it's a need for patience, whether to invest in this situation or not. And it could be something maybe that you said. But it's whether, you know, it's an energy of someone looking whether their patience will pay off. But I feel this person became emotionally overwhelmed. And I do feel it's an energy of them exploring their feelings. I really feel they want to make this right. They want to come in right, make this right. And just kind of take it slow. So it's up to you to decide whether you want to. But the chariot tells me someone's putting on the brakes and looking at this, revisiting this. See, it's someone who... who that's why I feel some of you, it's the masculine, but it could be 
I say, if maybe they were had some Scorpio in their chart, if you're the feminine. But it's letting this person know you're open to talk. And I do feel seeing the truth. Now, it's possibly they should have told you the truth. They had just ended something because they were very much in a negative energy, a negative headspace. This energy of luck, feeling a little insecure. So tell me more about the death card. Yeah, I feel this is a pretty simple read. Yeah, see, it has to do with two people. They had just ended something with a person here. But I, I really feel, um, if you did have one date with this person, I feel like you've seen eye to eye here. And I do see the energy of just maybe friends first. Maybe that's what they said or you said to this person. But it's about seeing eye to eye. See, looking at things different, seeing things from each other's perspective seeing how the other person feels. And I do feel this person kind of gets it too. Yeah. Now, I don't know if this is a friend and it was an energy of taking this to the next level. Uh, I really feel they wanted this. I mean, I can see this life path choice decision, but it's definitely somebody who walked away from someone. They just felt something wasn't right. So yeah, it does look like a possible reconciliation. But it also has to do with a decision. See, somebody here, this is someone who made a bad decision. And they see that now. And I do feel they probably should have told you the truth. But I feel with yourself, aha, I feel like you already know. Or somebody else is involved telling you the truth. Yeah. See, it's a tower. See, this is where that tower comes down. It's an energy of rebuilding. See, the tower's coming down. See, I feel it's just, it started and ended pretty fast here. It was a date. It was over. I do feel like this person really just didn't come in right. They weren't in the right headspace. They were protective of their money, their house, their home, their heart, because somebody was up to something in their past. And it, it was something that I feel had just ended. And then all of a sudden we get two people talking, communicating. And I do feel possibly the feminine maybe, you know, reached out to this person. That could have had to do with work or, you know, anything here. But there, I mean, there looks like there was a date. And there we have the hierophant. See, morals, values, the way someone conducts themselves. See, it's about being on the same page. There was someone here they weren't on the same page with, definitely. So they were weighing the pros and the cons here. You know, back and forth, should I or shouldn't I? And I do feel, you know, and it could be even yourself if you're the feminine here, because I could see the Empress also in that energy. Should I wait or should I just, you know, let this, it's, it, you know, this ending, let it be over. But every ending is a new beginning. So it's like two people coming apart, two people coming together very quickly. So I do feel they were emotionally overwhelmed, whether they should invest in this or not. Really feel they weren't ready. A lot of focus on finances. I do feel this is somebody who obviously works a lot. Yeah. But I do see a possible reconciliation. They want to make something right. They want to go about it right. They didn't go about something the right way. But they're assessing this. You can see they're putting on the brakes, assessing it. You know? Yeah. We have the Queen of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sag. Now, it could be yourself here, if you are the feminine watching this. Knowing what you want and not settling. See, looking elsewhere, just focusing on you, doing your own thing, minding your own business. <laughs> they want, this is somebody who wants a reconciliation, but it has to do with this person shedding, releasing all this that they're holding on to that's keeping them stuck. Now, for those of you, if you have someone who can't make up their mind, they're back and forth, it's on and off, you may decide to, you know, that you're just not on the same page. Maybe you feel this is somebody who's not faithful because of the waiting. And this is also what happens when people assume, okay? It's always good to get the facts to see the truth because this is an energy of looking at the facts, looking at the facts, the details of what happened, how this all played out. So, but yeah, I really feel it's an energy of morals, values, lifestyle, habits, the way someone conducts themselves. There was definitely an inner struggle. And it is possible they were comparing you to someone else. Maybe it kind of started the same. That's what it looks like more to me. But it is possible for some of you, there was someone who was 
uh, juggling. They had something on and off with someone else. They should have just told you the truth. But I do feel that they were ghosted by somebody. Okay, or they ghosted someone. But it's just an energy of lack and negativity. But as far as that Queen of Wands, see? It's an energy of cooperation, compromise, see? Someone was being stuck, maybe even being a little stubborn, some Taurus energy. You know, not wanting to budge, give in. So... I feel as though, you know, this is part of the Empress energy, knowing what you want, going for it. But I feel you're just kind of doing your own thing. See, it's an energy of acknowledging. See, it's an energy of this person acknowledging the things you have in common. I actually feel there's somebody that, and they may have been looking at the things that you had in common with this other person. That's why I feel for most of you, it's more, it's more of this person comparing you to this somebody who played them, someone who was being sneaky. But definitely some of you, they may have been, you know, juggling or back and forth with somebody who was on and off. Often when people get ghosted, ignored, or treated like they're not good enough for someone, they can become a little obsessed. So not I, I don't see the obsession here, but I mean, that's the overall vibe. But yeah, I, I really feel, you know, this is somebody here who I feel they want to apologize the way they behave, the way they conducted themselves. Yeah, this is someone who didn't have faith in themselves, too. Or they found out somebody wasn't faithful to them. So this is somebody who's pretty cautious. So I feel they were comparing the things you had in common with someone else. Okay, And you, there even could be common friends here, too. Because I do see uh, three people. See some kind of event, some kind of uh, situation happening here. Talk, gossip, things that people say somebody wasn't faithful or just the way they conducted themselves but this person holds you in high regard the way you are conducting yourself so if you handle this this very well and just kind of you know just kind of waited for a while to see how it would play out and then just started looking elsewhere it's not like you went chasing after this person i feel yeah see thanks but no thanks something wasn't good enough but it is an energy of someone here who now feels they missed an opportunity because of this. So it'll be up to you to decide here. And I do feel it's someone you had a date with. You had a date with this person. And it just didn't go well. Because they, they came in. This was an opportunity for something new. But they came into it with this negativity. Now either they were trying to figure out whether you were up to something with that mirroring. Okay. That's what it looks like to me. I just get this vibe that and this person just felt you were up to something. But look at this Empress. See, if they would have known, you know, then what they know now, this Empress energy. So I don't know if there's been some kind of reunion gathering where you've kind of run into each other. <laughs> They're seeing how you conduct yourself. So they feel they've missed a magical opportunity. But I feel for yourself, thanks, but no thanks. So I don't know if you've you know, you've had this opportunity to connect or reconnect through friends or somewhere in your community where you just kind of went, no, it's not good enough. You know? Yeah, I feel there's definitely they, this is someone who wants this reconciliation. But I do feel this is this massive healing, a little bit of awakening, a bit of a wake-up call that they need to let go of whatever it is they're holding on to, which is baggage. And it's often, too, when they have something on and off, someone who won't let them go. You see, that's an energy sometimes of a person who keeps coming in, talking to them, and won't let them go. And there we have a single person. Yeah, so I do feel this is someone here looking to see if you're still single. Yeah, we have some reminiscing here, someone longing for love. Someone feeling kind of lonely, but they're, this is an energy of someone reminiscing about what happened here, see? Thinking about the state, longing for love. I feel they're going to come in. I, I feel they're going to come in and apologize and take action. You see, it's confirming this coming back around, a whole new cycle. They're definitely happier. They're ready for something new. This is someone, you know, the right person waits till someone's ready. So with that Queen of Wands here, maybe you came in too fast, too strong, um, if you have that energy in your chart, okay? Or you just have that energy, the feminine. But as far as the masculine, I, you know, like I say, I feel this is someone who just wasn't quite ready. It happened quick. It was emotional. They were very happy. I see this. 
but they were emotionally overwhelmed. It, things happening too fast. They weren't ready. It's like they didn't see this coming, you know. It was very sudden. So that's often where somebody puts on the brakes. Like, whoa, wait a minute. What's going on here? See, it has to do with building. See, they putting in the effort. They didn't put a lot of effort into a situation here. And they do focus a lot on work. But it has to do with this person kind of rebuilding. Now, this could be someone who was rebuilding their life too. But like I say, I, I feel they, it's an energy of the amount of effort they put in. I think the Empress is open to talk. I, I feel open to talk at least to resolve this situation. I'm not sure you'll have a reconciliation because I do see this energy of just kind of doing your own thing, you know, no longer giving this person attention, looking kind of elsewhere, focused on you, creative pursuits, you know, single, see, being in that single mode. But I feel this is somebody here who, if they do find out suddenly that you're still single, which is what it kind of looks like here, maybe you've run into each other, there's some kind of gathering, but they are definitely longing for love here. So, yeah, they're soul searching. This person's soul searching. See, they're rethinking. They're looking at this. They rushed in and then backed out of the situation. They're looking for clues. This is someone spending some time alone here, see? Looking for clues into the past and thinking things through. So this is someone looking. This is something worth going after, see? Choosing their battles. So that's why I feel you're the one that got away. And they didn't, this is somebody who, I'm going to tell you right now, if this person comes in, connects, they're not going to let you get away. They're going to hold on. They see you as a keeper. They're not going to let you go. <laughs> okay. So it's up to you to decide with this person. The Empress is in the middle. It's all about kindness, compassion, forgiveness, talking, at least having a talk. Okay, there's definitely an energy of choosing the one. This is someone who sees you as the one. This passionate new beginning. A lot of passion here. They see you as very charming, sexy, very passionate kind of person. So, but I feel a lot of you, this is a masculine energy. Really, really looking at what happened and reminiscing about it. So I wish you the best. They are looking for clues. They're going within, looking at what happened. Okay. And I do feel this is like their whole, they're kind of looking at their whole life path in their love life. They're looking at this. You see what makes them happy, what fulfills them emotionally, what it is that they want. And I do feel they want marriage commitment. These are all the things they wanted. So, like I say, after a period of time, this person assessing the situation. And I do feel that, you know, they're hoping for reconciliation. So, I wish you the best. Take care, and we'll see you soon.